Okay, so from the top, I'm going to grab hold of Eric's shoulders. I'm going to say, okay, Eric, you're a strong guy. Mm -hmm. Start turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. And then what you'll see in the camera is the legs started to move. Mm. <laughs> right? Because yep. you needed the legs to move in order, because I'm holding you back pretty good right now. Yep. All right, so let's go back to the top. Now let's turn. Good, and you can feel how that's starting to separate. Now really yep. turn, turn, turn. Good, now you feel your core engage because yep. I, I just had around 70, 80 pounds of pressure yep. not allowing you to turn. So that that got the left shoulder to go down and put you into the ground. It in, ignited some of your core muscles and it ignited you know, your femurs, your yeah. quads, your, your glutes. Like uh, it ignited a lot of stuff because yep. you needed to use all that just to move. There we go. And now keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Come on, you're stronger than that. Use your legs. Good. Now you're in a position where you can probably just push up. Yeah, it feels really good and powerful. Yeah, when I yeah. Do that too. So I and I think it's important as people watch this. There's a simple drill that I try and do with all my juniors. Yep. Make a 30 second golf swing. Yep. Right. No, because people, you know, yep. this we're trying to get into details of. Geez, I want to do this. I want to do this. Well. The average person, they're, they're, when I say, okay, we're going to try and make a 30-second golf swing, at around four seconds, they're done. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's like yeah. when you want to train to do this stuff, you have to have great awareness of your body. So yeah. if I said, okay, Eric, take your right knee and lift it up. Yeah. You, you, it, you know how many signals have to go through to <laughs> right. just move that one piece? Sure. And we've got a lot of different things moving at the same time. So... Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and, yeah, and yeah. take a uh, take another backswing and stop. Okay, so we just said, okay, the left hip went down, the left shoulder went down, boom. This is gonna actually move up a little bit. Remember yeah. how we're gonna keep the knees level yeah, yeah. and separated so that that doesn't add any undue uh, pressure to the spine. Yeah. Once the right knee starts to turn, you're in a position where you can literally just push right off. Pushing the and that's pushing everything from there? I'm pushing yes. the legs, pelvis. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you have enough pressure under the back leg where you can just push, and that's pushing the back leg up and forward. Got it. At the same time, the left leg, or the lead leg, yep. is pushing back to keep turning. So, okay guys, let, let's go over that. Let's say from the top, from sort of sequencing, I'm, I'm kind of down and forward first. Yep, right? down and forward first. Down and forward first. Yep. These are level. This is, level. This this is, is coming up. up. Yep. And as it starts to turn, boom, now you've got Pushing. enough pressure to push. So yeah. take the same backswing again. Because look, I was told as a kid, hey, no, you got to bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Well, try and, pu try and push now. Yeah, yeah. Not, <laughs> All right. Not <laughs> the, the, there's, no, there's not enough not energy. Yeah, there's just nothing left other than, okay, how fast can I swing my arms? Can't turn from there. Can't it's hard to. Now. Yeah. And so this is what we see the pros do is, is these moves. They go down and forward. Yes. Right? Yep. So I, I like that sort of distinct feel of, you know, what we would see good ball strikers do, they're up to the top, they're down and forward. Right, they're kind yep. of getting these knees. I like that these knees level. This working up, then maybe by the time the club gets kind of close to last parallel ish, yeah, right, they're pushing they're, and they're turning pushing. and starting and starting to raise out of it. So, yep. we had you throw the uppercut earlier, yes. So, yeah. I was like, yep. go ahead and draw your arm back, give me a deep squat, yep. turn and throw an uppercut at my hand. Yeah, and I think that's a really good drill and feel, right? If I were to go here and kind of get into that left shoulder, left hip down and forward, down and kind of yep. back, right the right leg and the knees are coming up forward. Knees are pretty much the same. Pretty level. much level. So if we're, I was at zero degrees here and I turned around 45 degrees, kept them level and the same distance and bent, you'll, you'll feel enough pressure on your back foot to where you now want to push off. So if the weight goes too soon to the left, Nothing to push. well, I've got one leg to push. Yeah, right. <laughs> push off the right side. Right. And so this position, once I got them there, this is where that, that uppercut would come in. You got it. I take the uppercut from here, I kind of feel like off the balls of my foot, right? It. And be pushing up and forward this way. Correct. And everything would Which, push Which, when you push up and forward, because the pelvis is turned now, yep. we can now let the pelvis go into extension, or the spine go into extension, as the pelvis keeps turning. Love that. And that's happening after that initial kind of down and open correct. motion. Correct, correct, correct. And we, as we, as we said earlier, um, as you turn and push and go into extension, well, that'd be the only way to max out that radius. Yeah, on the way through. Yeah. And so what I don't want to do from here is I don't want to go up right away with my hip. No. Right? I don't want to have my knees changing levels drastically early. Correct. Right? I do want to go kind of down and forward. Yep. I, I do want to have some space between here, ideally, yep. to go push off us. 
and then from that spot, now I can get the distance between my legs to come together. As yeah, we, uh, yeah, and they will eventually come together. But uh, if I took a backswing here and I said started to kick my knee in toward the other, well, yeah. I don't have much power left. I don't, I, I don't have as much force into the ground available to use. And that's not how the pros. Do, do their no, I mean, that's right? why when you watch them on Sundays, they're hitting eight irons 177 yards. They can do these good. Yeah. So how about some drills, Marty? I know we had kind of the broom, maybe stick feel. We had the club into the ground. Sure, sure, sure. Right? So, you know, we're always trying to jive the rate of turn yeah. with the rate the arms are falling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so if I'm back here and I just swing my arms down, well, I'm going to chunk the ball. That's Pretty right. good, all right? So I have to be able to blend the rate of turn and if I turn, I don't want the club to go outside. Right. So as, I, as I'm starting to turn, I also want the club to shallow yes, sir. so that if I turn, by the time we get near impact yep. from down the line, we should be able to see quite a bit of the left leg. Yep. And I'm in a position where when the club's about parallel to the ground, I'm pushing off. At yep. that moment, if I were hitting one that way, yep. When the club's parallel to the ground, normally we see the hands in line with the ball. And from this side, they can probably see that right quad. Right yeah, ex exa exactly. Yep. It's turned out, and now you can just push right through the ball. And so if, I, if someone's at home, right? Yeah. Let's say they're watching this, they're like, all right, Marty, Eric, I get that. That's cool, right? Yeah. How do, what, how do I start the process? I, I would do a couple simple things. Yep. First, put the club on top of your knees, yep. and just turn 45 degrees staying with level knees. Yep. So this knee, that's it. So the back knee is going to have to come up. If, if the knees aren't level, or if they get too close to one another, yep. A, it's going to feel awkward. Oh, B, you're going to lose power. Yep. Uh, but if the, if the knees don't stay level, you're going to start adding stress to your lumbar. And that which, puts you in a good position to be able to push out of the Exactly. Lane. So I do this, right? I feel that. I'm yep. Gonna, working that in and then am I hitting shots with that right away? Am you I don't even some? have to. I yeah, mean, heck, I, what I tell people in my clinics, turn, push, yep. and now let's add the arms. Yeah, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just to feel that, right? Yeah. So I kind of maybe do one or two of these. Turn, push, and now add the arms. So maybe going here, you kind of feeling the same things. Yep. Beautiful. There we go. So about this. And then maybe I'm, maybe I'm putting the ball down, maybe with I'm Some waist high to waist high. Sure, all, all day long, uh, you know, when I do my clinics up at Turning Stone, my regular students know the first 20 balls are going to be waist high yep. turned to waist high. And this is the first measurement we're looking for. So it's like if, if I hit a ball waist high, turn, boom. Yep. I've, got my, I've got my radius. I'm starting slow. I'm getting my body ready to make bigger, faster swings. And beyond that, I might do some, like I like some of the drills that you have, right, of kind of having a club or a broomstick back, or even a lineman rod maybe. Yeah. And kind of feeling that pressing against the ground. Oh, like, sure. I, yeah, I'll just dig, I'll push this right into the ground or even push the club into the ground so I can feel the club stressing. Yep. Then as I push off, I'm maxing out my radius again. And I think that's such a good feel for a lot of people who have never played another sport, maybe. Yeah. Or doesn't get to feel that push. Sure. And that's new for them. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of energy that's getting pushed right into the ground. And the, the way I like to kind of say that is like, okay, if, if I get the club to go into the ground, yep. well, I want your body to feel like it's pulling it out of the ground. Love that. Yeah. And, and I think maybe sequentially that could be some things for people to start of like, listen, let's get up back here. Let's get the left shoulder, left knee going down and forward as I do my turn, right? Let's get down and yeah. here. And then maybe just for a second, right, yeah. just to drill that out, maybe I'm getting into here. I'm kind of putting the club down. Yeah, and now. Stressing it and then pushing up into the follow through. Perfect. Right? And then gradually adding a ball and hitting some shots and kind of adding some speed. Let me hit one just to kind sure. of create some feels. So I might rehearse that a couple times. Yep. And then I'm trying to feel, for me, I'm trying to feel kind of from here into the follow through piece. Or if I don't have that first piece down, I might hit some little shots with just that, right? Correct. Left hip, left shoulder. Big time. From here, like the pros, I'm getting down and forward for compression. And maybe even just hit a couple like that without the push. Sure. And then add the push in. Absolutely. Right? So I might hit some shots, left hip left shoulder kind of down here just to feel kind of a little bit of the compression and then I might start to add in that push later and grab a feel for that and break those up in the beginning so I'm feeling this right mm -hmm. pushing up off of there and just getting a sense of what that feels like nice so that felt a lot that's better. solid yeah and so, so simple kind of drills and feels, right? I think part one is getting the understanding of what are the pros doing with their body motions? Well, their left hip is going down with their shoulder and around. Yep. 
they are gaining the flex of both of the knees. Yep. They are pushing up later. Yep. Right? And then the key of part two is how do you start to drill those in? What we're saying is go short and go slow. Um, hit some short shots with it, probably then supplement video. Well, absolutely. I mean, it, you get the live view or you film yourself and, you, you know, the 30 second swing yes. is going to take a long time. It'll, okay, it'll right. seem like it takes forever. Cool. And then when you actually time it, you'll be like, oh, wow, that was only six seconds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Party, thank you, man. I appreciate Thanks, Eric. That. Thanks, buddy. Good to